Hey, it's David again. A short little video about the charge port today. I have some trouble with mine. Um, there's a little black kind of piece that broke off. It's kind of hard to see, but I'm going to try to show you in a second. So what I did, I uh, went on eBay and found some uh, parts. Um, actually, first I went to Tesla and said, um, look at this. And they said, it's just a small thing. It's actually not really critical because the actual connection, the electrical connection still is made. It's just a little guide that <clears throat> makes the contacts slide around at one big pin. Anyways, they quoted me $750, um, I think, to fix it. So I went on eBay and looked for parts because swapping out the charge port itself is not um, that big of a deal, I think. Anyway, so I got some parts I want to show you and I want to show you the process of swapping it out and how it works out. So you can see here, there's my charge port on the left side. The big pin has this plastic ring around it. The right side, it broke off. Let me see if I can see it a little better here. Um, and again, like the actual um, electrical connection is still, see here, I'm gonna make it a little brighter. Um, the electrical connection is still made. Uh, the Tesla technician said it's not the worst thing that can happen. Obviously, um, I should get it fixed because uh, the pin slide from the charge plug slide around around this plastic piece and are guided to the metal piece so anyway so i need to get that fixed one way or another so here i have two charge ports actually this is the old generation of generation one that i have it is uh, the non-automatic door so it opens automatically but you have to manually closes and this is a generation two that automatically opens and closes and you can see if you look at it size wise they are different enough um, they don't fit so you can't buy or get this part and put it in the old cars to get the automatic door it just doesn't physically fit the back also looks quite different apart from the size it's just designed a little different anyway so um, I'm thinking about maybe just taking that pin out and Put it in my charge port if that works. That's going to be the first attempt. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to swap the whole part out. Okay, so here's a charge port. The old style, original charge port. It has to be manually closed. And then let's go have a look on the inside. Oh, here we go. Conveniently, there's a little cutout. And conveniently you can access the charge port right here there we go all right so high power cables exposed all right let's see if there's any power on these. Absolutely zero. And that's what I expected. There should be no power whatsoever unless the car is plugged into a supercharger. Please excuse my messy garage. Let's see, the first thing I'm going to do is see if I can get one of those pins like this one here, if I can just get it out. It actually is loose, it's not super tight, but obviously it doesn't come out quite that easy. I think I have to take this plate off here and then I can take it out and I think that's what, gonna, what I'm going to try first. That was easy, much easier than I thought. And yes, it is possible to just take them out, I believe. And here is actually interesting. This is that plastic piece here. You can see how that is actually moving. It's just a guide 
for the pins from the plug to go around. The other interesting thing <clears throat> I'm noticing here is that there is no temperature sensor whatsoever on these pins. So um, this is where the heat would build up. Here is where the connection is made for the high power to come in from the supercharger. And this pin here would get rather hot. So if there is a temperature sensor, it's in the plug of the supercharger. Not here in the charge board. I don't see anything. This is an interesting kind of screw. I've never seen that. Don't have the right tool, so I'm just going to use my leather man here. There we go. That was much easier than I thought. Cool. Let me clean that with some alcohol. Yeah, very interesting. It looks like it's only touching this part, not all the way down. Or maybe the AC only goes to here and the supercharger goes all the way down. I am not sure. Let's clean that with some contact spray. Ha! Huh. That's why this little hole is here. I had no idea. So you can actually clean it. Well, if I get electrocuted, at least you guys see it live. <clears throat> Good. Now I need to take this thing out. You know, I think it's really easier if I take this whole thing out here. I don't know if that makes it easier or not, but... I think it might. So, when you pull this liner back, this is how the charge port looks like. Lost one in the battle. All right, got the third one. All right, so we are free. I can take that one pin out. Here it is. And that's it. I'm gonna replace that with a new one. Just the top part. Okay, one more time, this is the new one the, with the black top piece, and that's the one that was in my charge port. It looks fine otherwise. Yeah, it looks a little worn, but that's just normal. And that's why the technician said there's no problem with the actual electrical connection, because you can see the pin itself, the metal part is not compromised it's just a tip a black tip but I think it's kind of important because if you insert the plug and you don't have that it's not too bright you don't have the black piece the pins from the connector go over this hard edge here and I'm not sure if that's so good so this black piece adds a little bit of a guidance clean and these alcohol pads or wipes ok 
Okay, let's have a quick look how that looks from this side here. Wait, where is it? Here we go. Yeah, it looks good. And they are a little bit loose if you wiggle them, but that's normal. Okay, go. This one I'm gonna clean a little bit while I have it out. All right. And you know what? I'm gonna clean the other side a little bit too while I have it out. Looks like everything is in place. Let's put this one back on the cover. First test, my home charger, normal UMC. And it charges. Yes. That's good. Works great. Next test is a supercharger. All right, cool. That actually took much less time. It was much easier than I thought. It maybe spent like 25 minutes on the whole process. That was super easy. It definitely helps to have the complete part in front of you before you open it and you can see what is happening and how to open it and all of that. So um, that definitely helped. Uh, Tesla quoted me $750 to replace the whole thing um, with the parts from eBay. I paid about 150 and I still have a few spare parts left from if that should happen again. Anyways, I just uh, wanted to show you that. I still have to do the test with a supercharger tonight. Um, but um, looks like everything works great. Alrighty, thanks for watching. See you next time.